And I think it's just really Toronto and Second City provided a vehicle. The same way Lorne Michaels created a vehicle for that first cast of Saturday Night Live. Right. You know, yes, John Belushi was brilliant. But had there not been Saturday Night Live and not a vehicle for him to prove that he was brilliant, he might have ended up in a sitcom that got canceled after three episodes. There, I don't believe in inevitability. Well, that's a totally depressing thing to say. Well, if true. there had been that, he might end up in a sitcom. That's I think died. that, I think, listen, I've been doing this a long time, and I think you have to have great talent, and you have to have great endurance and commitment and desire to achieve, and you need a great deal of luck. You need that vehicle. How much? How if much the it, graduate had bombed, I don't know if we'd know Dustin Hoffman today. How much do you make your luck? I think you luck is luck. Luck is luck. Well, oh, I'll have a career. Oh, I don't. No, it's based on talent. Cheers, brilliant series, fabulous cast, made Ted Danson a multimillionaire and a household name. But. What if that series had not been the taste of the time and had been canceled? Ted might have gone to another sitcom well, that got canceled. Wait a minute, wait a minute. There's Martin going south. Now, Martin has to do something wise, canny, smart. Not to remotely. To work up through no, a huge entertainment industry and that you not only su survived in it, you thrived in it, and you're still working in it. Yes, so but 90, people are I, oh, well over 90% of my career was in total and utter commercial failure. <laughs> it's true. Oh, come on. It's true. Absolutely true. How come you're still here? Well, I think it's a, a two, three cheers for my tenacity, maybe a little nod to talent. And I was in enough successful things to keep the wheel spinning. It's like, you know, when water fills up in those water wells, it's just, oh, you get it. I remember um, when I was young, I, my first time I went to the AFI tribute dinner to Gregory Peck. And he got up there and he talked about the same thing. He said, you need just one every five things to be successful so they give you another chance and the wheel goes around and the wheel goes around. That's you know? totally cynical. Yeah, it's not. It's totally accurate. And I think it's cynical to think that it's anything else. So I what do you, I mean, uh, there may be all these, you know. I, I, what I'm saying is you don't worry about the results. The results are t based on luck and timing and what's fashionable. Years ago, my friend Lawrence Kasdan made, he had made, you know, he had written the Star, two of the Star Wars trilogy, and he wrote Raiders of the Lost Ark, and now he was finally given a chance to direct and write movies. So his first movie is Body Heat, massive hit. His second movie is The Big Chill, massive hit. Then he makes a movie called Silverado. It's a great movie. No one wanted to see Silverado. And as Larry said to me, I wish somebody had told me that Westerns were out of fashion. Well, the reality is, Westerns were now out of fashion. I think, I don't think you worry about whether something's going to be successful or not. I think that's the syndrome right now that we live in with reality television and, and people saying, I want to be a superstar, but, but I want to go to the National Theatre School to learn how to be a superstar. 